In this video, we shall learn about magnets and magnetic poles. Let's start with two bar magnets. What do you notice about them? Look at the ends. Do you see the markings? Now let's bring the two ends of the magnets marked with letter N close to each other. You can see that both the ends tend to ripple or move each other away. Try the same thing with the ends marked with the letter S. We can observe that the ends of the magnets marked with the same letters ripple each other. Now if you bring the opposite ends close to each other, we observe that opposite ends attract or move towards each other. Those N and S markings defines the north and south poles of the magnet respectively. The poles are where the magnetic field lines converge. Just like our earth has north and south pole, each magnet has at least two opposite poles. If you take a magnet and break it into two, new poles would appear at the cut end. The new smaller magnet would have north and south poles, just like the original magnet that you cut into half. You can't have a magnet with just one pole. The magnetic forces are quite strong and can act through other solid materials. The magnets come in different shapes. Some are cylindrical, disc-shaped or even shaped like a horseshoe. 